Let's go. Ooh, Statue of Liberty. But before I play Statue of Liberty, one thing I wanted to share with you guys was about uh, the coming update that we have for the game. Uh, we're smashing a bunch of bugs. And one of them was um, a physics fail that we had. So one of the things that we heard from a lot of our users was that some of the carries seemed a little off. There were some instances in which pins would fly around and, and bounce like at the speed of light and out of the pin there. It, it wasn't very real. And that was us trying to better the physics and we failed. So something that I think a lot of you guys might not realize is when we are changing the physics of a pin, right? And to make them fall and roll as true as possible, it's there's quite a few different elements that you have to tweak, right? So there's one obviously is how a pin falls, but then we also have to tweak like when it falls, how far does it bounce? Uh, when it rolls, how quick it rolls and how much power that pin has to knock over another pin. And all of these um, different kind of physics um, elements that we have to change all have to be tweaked together. So if they aren't tweaked right, or if one of them is wrong, we can get some pretty crazy things. So the team has decided that we've gone back to um, an older version of the physics with a very few minor tweaks, which I've been playing the game a little bit now, and I think the, the carry in the physics is probably a little bit more real. Um, it can still get better, so we will be tweaking them over time, but we've learned from our mistakes, so hopefully we can get rid of uh, some of the really unusual stuff that, that just doesn't happen. So that's one of the things we've smashed other than some of the bugs that we have. Um, I know that there was a, a couple of people that were complaining that when the ball comes out of the ball return, there was like a little gap um, below the score that if you pressed it and it was actually like in line with the ball, it would take you to your player profile, which was annoying the hell out of me too. So the next update will clear that, that little um, button area won't happen. Um, what else? Oh, this is big. Right. So another thing that a lot of people, especially those who have played the game for a little longer have noticed is that there's been some revaluing of bowling balls in, um, let's see, in both like the standard balls that you can get and also the storm balls that you can get. So the reason why we've revalued these is uh, for a couple of reasons. But the main reason is this. The team and I want to explain to a non-bowler, in particular a non-bowler, what hook, power, length, what it actually means, right? Like in most arcade games, it makes sense, right? That you get more power, you get more curve or whatever it is. But a non-bowler doesn't understand what it actually means to have your ball hook. So now what we've done is on each level, you will be able to buy or to level up into like with strength and with, uh, with purchases, um, a ball that goes straight, a ball with medium hook and a ball with stronger hook. And each one of these, so if I was to click say, uh, I don't know, let's say red flames, we also have a image of it, the, the shape of what the red flames will look like down the lane. And you can then compare that to say, let's go down the bottom here to something with a little bit more hook. I don't know, let's say like a glowing spires. You can see that the image of the projected shape is teaching that person, hey, now it makes a little bit more sense that the ball will go longer, it'll hook more and have more power. Same thing with the storm balls. We can have a look at the pitch blue and we see that if you're going to use a pitch blue, it's got three power, three hook, and a lot of length. And that's the shape that the ball will create down the lane. And if you go to say something like a code black, well, there you can see the shape is dramatically different. So that's one of the reasons why we wanted to do this, was to show, um, yes, I will rate it five stars. Thank you. I'll write it with you later. So we wanted to show... Uh, the non-bowler, what it means to upgrade your equipment with balls that hook more. And I think we did a really good job in revaluing everything. So 
as new balls come into the game and as we're teaching new players to bowling who maybe just stumble across this game in the App Store or the Google Play Store, they're going to have a better understanding about bowling. That, oh, wow, balls can actually hook and change. Look at the shape they can make. They can make different shapes. So that was the main reason why we did a revalue and a rebalance of the balls in the game. Anyway, enough about that. Let's uh, get into another match. Let's go to the pro room. Just go randomly find someone. Now, I know the pro room is a 10-frame game. All right, Chen. Hi, Chen. What am I playing on first? What's the uh, what's the oil pattern here? Oh, Big Ben. Could be a high-scoring affair here, Chen. Well, that's not a good start. I might need a ball up to my cozy Belmo ball. Oh, that's a chance. Oh, what? How close was that? Yeah, it was pretty close. Um, some of you guys in the chat room uh, are asking questions about the game. Um... Brad Loomis says, what about Webb during practice? Well, this was a, uh, a huge question that we've been asking ourselves is, do we create the balls to wear and tear in the practice uh, lane? And the fact is, when you bowl in practice at home, your balls wear and tear. So it was a really tough decision because, I don't know, like, I, I get it. A lot of people don't want their bowling balls to, you know, have wear and tear in the game because then you have to restore them and they cost chips and all that other jazz. And on the other side, I'm like, well, you know, the real thing is if I was to use my bowling ball in practice for 100 games, then my ball is going to have wear and tear for 100 games worth. So we decided to implement it. It is, um, I mean, everything can change. We can always change things. So we're seeing feedback from the players. So I guess it's really up to you guys if you think you prefer a little bit more realism realism to the game or if you kind of want to cheat a little bit and you know save some damage well you know hit us up meanwhile Chen uh, is really struggling right now which I'm loving hey Chen hey Chen I thought I was gonna strike so I had a really cool comeback line to tell you but it didn't oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on, Chase. Come on. Let's see Chen's high game. Load in. Come on, Wi-Fi. No good. Can't see it. All right. I'm not going to talk to you, Brad Loomis, anymore. Distracting me here. All right, what's going on? My Wi-Fi is... Struggling right now. Let's get the full screen. 4-2, Chen. Clearly, I'm struggling uh, on the left lane here. Cannot get it going. Uh, Wi-Fi, come on. Ah, here we go. It is now Chen's turn. Waiting patiently for Chen to get a split. He's a lefty too. Oh. Chen with a strike. Oh, that was high. That was super high. All right, Chen. That's, that is high flush, Chen. Yours should have left a six pin, if I'm being real honest. Alright, that's so what you got now, Chen. Come on, get that double. I dare you. I'm gonna trash talk on here too. Bet you can't do that again. But it's uh, a little frustrating now that my Wi-Fi. I mean, look, Australia is a beautiful place. We have some amazing, amazing things in Australia. Fast Wi-Fi is just not one of them. And it's really annoying. Because, if, like, there are places in the world that you would think 
shouldn't have faster Wi-Fi than Oz, and they do. So I've got to call my government and tell them, get their act together, start putting some optic fibres down. Oh, oh, Jenny, little right of target, Jenny. Oh, he spared it. All right, Chen. Nice recovery. Oh, sit there, ball. Sit in the oil. And it did. And it did. Oh, I feel good now, Chen. I'm feeling real good. Where's my happy face? Come on. Uh, Richard Sharp says, Hey, Jason, congrats on your world championship win. Thank you very much, Richard. It was uh, it was really, really cool. Actually, if you get a chance, all of you, if you get a chance, check out the uh, PBA Chronicles that's on YouTube, on the PBA channel. They have uh, a series from the World Series of Bowling, and it's really well done. Really well done. Uh, I'm super impressed, and, and I love watching the Chronicles. I've watched all of them. I think there's 15 episodes. They range from... Anywhere between six minutes an episode to like 12 minutes. Uh, no, more. 18 minutes, I think, is the longest one. So check them out. They give you like a recap for every event, how the shows went. It's really, really well done. And the last one, which was of the World Championship, um, was really cool to watch and kind of relive that moment again. Meanwhile, Chenny. Chenny is in Struggle Town. And I'm in Turkey Town. <laughs> oh, Chenny boy. Oh, Chenny, you got me while I'm hot. Got me while I'm hot. All his hand is hot. It is hot right now. Let's see. Uh, we've got a few more people that are joining us from around the world. Uh, we have Daria Payak uh, from Poland. G'day Daria, I, I, I follow Daria on Instagram and she's in Europe right now, she's in Sweden, I think, competing in a tournament there. Good luck over there, Daria, and everyone else I know in Sweden that's competing in Sweden, good luck. Uh, Bill King says, hey Jason, we need another 30 days of Jace Live. Bill, I'm not talking to you because I'm still upset that you beat me in the last live challenge that we had. So I'm not going to even respond to you with a response because it still haunts me in my dreams. You beating me that day. All right, Chenny, there's a break for you. I'll, I'll let you have that break because you're going to need a little luck because this one is going high flush again. I am undefeated so far today. How many have I played? One? This is my second one? Yeah, it's my second one. So I'm two and up while I'm about to be. I think Chenny has uh, cracked under the pressure. Let's see, what can I say to him? I think this how the pressure got to you. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think what I can say here to rub it into him a little bit. All right, we'll just go 10 down. Again. Oh, someone needs to practice a little more. Oh, that's a little wide. Oh, but we're on Big Ben. Oh, come on, messenger. Hit it. I want to smash Chenny. And makes a spare this time. Jerry Johnson says, Chronicles are great. Jerry, they are bloody awesome. Jeff um, Goodger from the PBA, I think, edits them and makes them all. Did an awesome job. Jeff... I don't know if you're watching or if anyone knows you, but um, hopefully, maybe I'll just text you and say well done, because they're awesome. Check them out, PBA's YouTube page. Nice try. If you say so, Chen, nice try. If you say so. Yes. Jordan Hathaway says, hey Jace, I'm in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hi Jordan, I'm in Orange, New South Wales, Australia, Tulsa, Oklahoma. We go to Oklahoma every year, we go to Shawnee, Oklahoma. Um, if you, I don't know how far Tulsa is from Shawnee, 
But next time we're there, you should come and watch some um, some PBA bowling. We play at the uh, Fire Lake Bowling Center. Awesome uh, venue, awesome staff. It's a really, really good time if you want to come out and watch us. Meanwhile, you know what? You know what Chenny's thinking right now? Getting smashed. Make the spare. Put my pitch black. Just you know. I don't want really to waste all my strikes right now against Chenny. I'm smashed him. Got to save my strikes for a, you know, for a real tough competitor. Not these walkovers like Chen. Now let's see his probably player profile. Is it going to load this time? Oh, my internet is terrible. Right, I'm not going to mess with it because I don't want to lose the game and like leave it accidentally. Paddy Hart uh, says, I'm walking the halls at work, getting my steps in while watching you. Oh, that's awesome, Paddy. So uh, Storm, uh, right now we're doing an awesome little um, kind of promo here where they're challenging um, people against a Storm staffer in uh, like an exercise contest. And this week it's Danielle McCune versus Paddy Hart in a step -a -thon. And I think... They have to step for the whole week, count their steps. They have to prove on like a, a Fitbit or something like that how many steps they've made. Um, and I don't know, what do you win, Patty, if you actually beat Danielle for the week? I'm not entirely sure what they win, but Patty is the contestant against Danielle. I've known Patty for a little while, and she's awesome, and I think she's going to beat Danielle. And clearly, she's at work. She's a registered nurse walking the hallways trying to, you know, crush Danielle in steps while I'm crushing Chen in Bowling by Jason Belmonte. So good luck, Patty. I'm on your side for this one. Sorry, Danielle, but I think Patty's going to win. All right, so Chenny, I, I, I give you credit, Chenny. You didn't quit, not once. You had an opportunity earlier in the match to quit, and you didn't. You played out the match. So thank you very much. You're going to need a little practice though. Leave. 